It doesn't matter how old you are or how much experience you have on a boat. Weather unexpectedly changes, engines malfunction, and accidents happen. Got the life raft out! She's going under now! We got the life raft out! She's going under! What does matter is how prepared you are both mentally and physically on your vessel. Which is why today we're going to talk about what every boater must have on board to greatly improve your chances of being found if your boat capsizes or takes on water. And that is an emergency ditch bag. Now hopefully you have your life jacket on and you remember that the best thing to do in most emergency situations is to always stay with your boat so rescuers have a better chance of spotting it and you. But if they don't even know you need to be rescued, you're in for a lot more time in the water than you probably want. That's why in your ditch bag, you have to have a few things to let the world know that you need help right away. The first item is an EPIRP, or an emergency position indicating radio beacon. Once turned on, your precise coordinates are being sent up to satellites that tell rescuers where you are and that you need help now. Secondly, a great thing to have along with your EPIRP is a personal locating beacon, or a PLB, for every person on board your vessel. It attaches to your life jacket and sends a second message that you need help. Plus, if you were to get separated from the EPIRB, it will help searchers locate you quicker. Finally, handheld radio technology has come a long way. Not only are they now waterproof so you can try and hail any boat within 5 or 10 miles, but they too can put out a distress call with your GPS position. Having an EPIRB, a PLB, and a handheld radio may sound redundant, but each addresses a different hazard and the best case scenario is having all three. Okay, now you put the word out that you need help. How are you gonna be seen? Well, what you use really depends on what time of day it is. Let's say it's nighttime. How are you even gonna see what's in your ditch bag? Because you were smart enough to stock it with a waterproof pocket light. And as a backup to that, you're also gonna to wanna to have either an automatic vest strobe or a man overboard strobe. Lastly, you can choose to carry either hand flares or a flare gun, depending on what your state laws allow. Again, which one you choose depends really on how far away from land you're going to be. Knowing that hand signal flares can only be seen for about 5 miles, whereas flare guns can be seen for up to 10 to 25 miles away. Well, what if it's daytime? How do you get seen in the daylight? Well, the answer is to have either smoke flares or a hand signal mirror in your emergency ditch bag. It might also be a really good idea to put some granola bars or some power bars and some bottles of water in your emergency ditch bag as well. So how much does it cost to have a good emergency ditch bag on board? Between $600 and $1,200. And although that is a sizable investment, it really is a small price to pay when it comes to saving the lives of you and your friends and family. So please, boat safe and don't leave the dock without a properly stocked emergency ditch bag.